In Chicago and around the world, Al Capone may be the best known gangster of all time. But to my next guest, he was simply Uncle Al. In her book, Uncle Al Capone, the untold story from inside his family, Deirdre Capone says there are many misconceptions about her notorious uncle. Deirdre Capone, welcome to Chicago tonight. Thank you, Phil. I enjoy this very much. Why did you write the book, first and foremost? Two reasons. Number one, my children urged me to. But the main reason is nobody else could. And I'm 72, I'm a cancer survivor. If I didn't write it, this story or this side probably would never, ever be told. I'm not trying to whitewash anything. I'm not trying to make Al Capone out to be, you know, a choir boy. Um, I just want people to know that there was a human being by that name. And Al Capone was your uh, grandfather's brother, so he was Correct. your great uncle. And you write that there were two Al Capones. What do you mean? Uh, there was the businessman Al Capone, and then there was the family man Al Capone. I, I saw him one time, we were cooking spaghetti together, and my Aunt Maffey came into the kitchen and said that there were some people that wanted to see my uncle. So he took off his apron, and yes, he did wear an apron, and he went over to the dining room, got his suit coat, got his cigar, went into the living room, and I followed him, you know. And my Aunt Maffey went to get these two gentlemen who came in. I saw my uncle change expression. It was all of a sudden he was a person that I didn't know. He sat there, stone-faced, eyes wide open, kind of a glaring stare. Scary guy? Almost. It was a scary look. And the two men would talk to him and they'd nod and they'd say something to one another. And after what seemed to be an eternity for me, um, they bid farewell and they left. And it took my uncle a while. He sat in the chair and finally he relaxed, got up, took my hand. We went back into the dining room. He took off his coat, put on the apron, and we started all over.